Hello everyone and welcome again to CB Clips. The response to our first CB Clips was quite amazing. People from all over the world interacted and provided responses and that's exactly what I was looking for. So thank you very, very much. We will learn together. This first scenario was a four-year-old with a febrile bout obstruction and generalized peritonitis. Now, uh, most of the answers uh, had to do with some type of obstruction of multiple etiologies like valvulus intussusception, bands, uh, etc. But a few people said that this is perforated appendicitis until proven otherwise, and they are correct. A febrile bowel obstruction in a child is perforated appendicitis until proven otherwise. By far, the most common etiology. Why? Because often the severe ileus will look like a bowel obstruction or sometimes they're actually true mechanical um, inflammatory adhesions. The second principle I wanted to cover is air under the diaphragm. Air under the diaphragm is not necessarily free air. In fact, in this scenario, a small quantity of air under the diaphragm, as you saw, represents gas uh, forming organisms within a subdiaphragmatic abscess. And that's exactly what we found in this child, who in fact was heading to a CT scan that I aborted and ended up resuscitating him and taking him to the operating room to find a severe perforated appendicitis with generalized uh, peritonitis and a large subphrenic abscess. Until the next CB Clips, and if you like CB Clips, you will love clinical pediatric surgery. Thank you.